a tense match, missed opportunities, and a legendary player facing an unforeseen obstacle. It's a smoke moment in darts that had fans on the edge of their seats. These are unforgettable smoke moments in darts history. John Part, a titan in the world of darts, known for his prowess and three-time world championship status, decided to make a surprising change at the 2013 Players' Championship Finals. Seeded 13th, he faced off against the 20th seed, Andy Hamilton. Part, previously accustomed to the darting stage without any visual aids, made a game-changing decision. His eyesight, once reliable, started to falter, prompting the use of glasses. Why not contact lenses? Part found the idea of touching his eyes appalling. Laser eye surgery wasn't an option either, leaving him with the unique addition of glasses to his darting ensemble. The match kicked off with an air of nervous tension. Part's first appearance with glasses saw him miss five critical darts at double 16, giving Hamilton the advantage. However, as seasoned dart fans know, the game is a roller coaster of highs and lows. In a dramatic turn of events, Part found his rhythm, winning the next four legs and heading into the break with a commanding 4-1 lead. At this juncture, Hamilton's performance was lacklustre, averaging less than 70. Some even thought the match was in the bag for part, leading tipsters to advise betters to cash out. But as with any thrilling darts match, the narrative took an unexpected twist post-break. Part seemed poised for a victory at 5-1, hitting a remarkable 180 and a smoothly taking up 43. The crowd anticipated a decisive win. However, darts being the unpredictable sport it is, had other plans. Hamilton, seemingly down and out, staged a remarkable comeback, holding and breaking, narrowing the score to 5-3. What appeared to be a sure victory for Part became a nail-biting contest. Part, needing just one more leg for the win, faced a series of heart-stopping moments. In the ninth leg, he missed his first match darts, and what followed was a succession of near misses. From a 167 attempt to multiple shots at various doubles, Part astonishingly missed a total of 12 match darts. The tension reached its zenith when Hamilton hit double one, making it 5-4. In that pivotal leg, Part found himself with the opportunity to close out the match and win 6-4. The tension in the arena was palpable, the crowd holding its breath as he approached the hockey. This was his moment, a chance to end the contest after Hamilton's series of missed opportunities. However, despite his earlier dominance, Part's nerves seemed to get the better of him. He missed six more match darts, all at double eight. The collective gasp from the audience echoed the disbelief in living rooms across the darting world. The pressure of the situation, the weight of expectation, and perhaps the adjustment to his new glasses all played a role in what was turning out to be an extraordinary and unexpected turn of events. Hamilton, seizing the opportunity handed to him by Part's misses, hit double one, leveling the score at 5-5 and forcing a deciding leg. The drama reached its zenith and the final leg unfolded with an intensity that could only be found in the world of professional darts. In a spectacular twist, Hamilton took out 158 to secure the victory. The crowd erupted in a mix of cheers and stunned silence. Part, who had been so close to sealing the deal just moments before, now faced bitter defeat. The statistics painted a fascinating picture. Hamilton, despite the win, averaged nearly 7 points less than Part. He managed to hit just 5 of his 39 shots at a double, a percentage of 13. In contrast, Part's 18 mismatched darts were higher than most by a losing player in a PDC major game. The post-match analysis was intense as the game itself. On BetDAC, a betting exchange similar to Betfair, £6,000 was matched on Part to win when he was leading at odds of 1.02. The question lingered in the minds of fans and pundits alike, did Part buckle under the pressure, or was it a case of adapting to the new glasses? Reports added another layer to the story. Part had started practicing the glasses just three days before the game. He candidly shared that the glasses changed his view of the bottom half of the board. It wasn't like he was familiar with the venue either, as earlier in that year, Part had secured victory in the UK Masters Euro Tour event held at the same venue. His remarkable 81.8 average in that competition was only marginally improved in his next game. Despite this, he faced a challenging world championship journey, beating Marino Michels 3-2 after being two legs up, before ultimately losing 4-0 to West Newton. Now speaking of missed opportunities and the bitter taste of defeat, let's turn the spotlight to a striking example from the BDO Women's World Championship in 2016. Anastasia Dobromislova, a seasoned player with three titles and three semi-final runs in her previous six lakeside appearances, entered the championship as a heavy favourite. Drawn against Dutch player Anka Zilstra, who was the 14th seed, Anastasia found herself in a tense battle. The first four legs set one went with throw. 
taking the set to a deciding leg. Anastasia, after 19 darts, hit double eight to hold and take a 1-0 lead in sets. Undeterred, Anastasia went on to win the second set 3-1, making it 1-1 and sending the game into a deciding set. The Russian player dominated the first two legs of this set, putting her just one leg away from victory. The tension soared as she faced her first match dart in the next leg, but missed tops from 110. In an astonishing turn of events, Zilstra took out 122 on the ball to make it 2-1. Anastasia had another chance in the next leg, but missed tops from 120 before faltering again with three misses at 10. She was granted another opportunity with a shot at double five, but fate had other plans. Eileen hit double 10, leveling the score to 2-2 and sending the game to a sudden death leg. A gripping climax unfolded as Anka won the ball and got the crucial first throw. Yet it was Anastasia who reached a double first. The drama peaked when she missed tops from 103, got a second chance after Anka's miss, but missed three more of her own. With an intense exchange of misses, Anastasia left herself with five, missing two darts at double two before hitting the single one. Anka then capitalised, hitting double ten to snatch the win. Anastasia had missed an astonishing 18 match darts, setting a record for any losing player in a world championship game. But let's just shift our focus to the PDC World Championship and explore another tale of missed opportunities. Jan van der Rassel, a Dutch player with appearances in five PDC World Championships, found himself in a remarkable showdown. In his debut in 2004, he suffered a loss, but in 2006, he triumphed over Steve Beaton with a convincing 3-0 win in the first round. This set the stage for a clash against American debutant John Kaczynski. The early stages saw Kaczynski dominating, going 3-1 up in the first to four tie. However, Van der Rassel mounted a comeback, winning back-to-back -back sets to send the game to a deciding set. In a tense battle, Jan went 2-1 up but missed two match darts from 60. The set went to 5-all, leading to a sudden death leg. In a cruel twist of fate, Van der Rassel missed multiple opportunities to close out the game. He missed the first dart at double in this leg, 1 at 18 from 116, followed by 4 at 9, 1 at 4 and 2 at 2. Kaczynski eventually hit double 2 to secure the victory, despite Van der Rassel's opponents averaging 3 points higher. In total, Jan van der Rassel missed 11 match darts, marking the highest count for any loser in a PDC World Championship game. This raises an intriguing question, why do players often seem to falter when presented with significant match darts? A study of 29,318 darts matches spanning professional, amateur and youth players sought to answer this. The findings suggested that among youth and amateur players, performance significantly deteriorates when both players are close to winning the match, especially when both can win with just one darts. In such situations, a player is 5-9 to nine percentage points less likely to finish. Interestingly, professional players appear less susceptible to choking under the high pressure of decisive legs than their amateur counterparts. While there is limited evidence of deteriorating finishing performance for professionals, the adverse impact is relatively small. These findings suggest that choking under pressure can be mitigated by training and decreases with experience. In conclusion, the dart players featured in this video, despite their exceptional skills, sometimes just had those rare bad days when the pressure of big match darts got the better of them. The world of darts, filled with unpredictable twists, continues to captivate us with its moments of triumph and heartbreak. Don't forget to hit the bullseye, so you never miss out on any of our amazing darts videos. See you next time!